Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week um, 34, which is a rank advancement week. That means this is the time to wake up, smell the coffee, shine, nana, whatever you drink. That Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, do whatever it takes for you to achieve your TA freaking T. All right. Guys, Rank Advancement Week is the week where you put everything together, perfect everything. Make sure you understand exactly what you need for your Rank Advancement by looking at your dashboard. All right. And whatever rank you have targeted, non-negotiable. If you have targeted to achieve a new rank, if you have targeted a certain commission for week 34, the only thing that can stop you from achieving it, whether it's fine two, whether it's hit a $500 check, whether it's max out, whether it's to move rank from Sapphire to Platinum, whatever the target is, my mantra is very simple. If it is to be, it is up to me. I said it in my Insta life. There's nothing or nobody who can stop you from achieving your goal except your freaking self. So get your ego out of the way. Dump all that fear, doubt, uncertainty and just do what you're supposed to do. And you will achieve your TAT, whatever target you have set on week 34, rank advancement week this month. All right, guys, I was talking to so many people over so many days, all right? For those of you all who WhatsApp me, I'll catch up with all the WhatsApps, WhatsApps this weekend. Life has been unbelievably crazy with a new member joining my family, all right? Spending a lot of time fulfilling the needs of Vcon, Dato Sri Vijay's vision that I promised him that I will fulfill no matter what, no sleep. It's freaking 4.30 in the morning right now. This is your chief being your upline. All right, dedicated, committed. And this week on the Wednesday message, I want to talk about something that I realize that a lot of people today don't talk about enough. That is, how do you handle your prospects? Okay, from inviting to presentation to handling their objections, all right, or the follow through. Now, ultimately, guys, all right, your prospect does not know QNET may never come to QI Tower, all right, okay? They only understand and feel what you tell them. That's about it. You are QNET, all right? You are the company. So when you are building your business with QNET today, recognize the fact the first hurdle you must cross is that you must believe 100%. Because you cannot convince anybody on this planet if you are not thoroughly, 100%, no doubt, convinced about who this company is, who Japa Dato Sri Vijay is, this industry of network marketing. All right, This is not about the decision that you want to do it. Because a lot of people have made the decision that they want to build something and make some money. All right, I think 99% of society wants that. But you have to believe in what you are doing. You need to convince yourself before you can convince others. Now, you might be saying, Chief, I am convinced I came to VCon. I know that was VJ, but I'm telling you. All right, doubt is not an issue for the prospect. Doubt is generally an issue for us, the builders, the people who are actually doing the business. So the first thing you need to understand is clarify your doubts. No matter how insignificant, no matter how moronic it is. All right? Basic building block number seven, counsel your upline. Ask questions. A lot of people think 
that only prospects have objections, only prospects have doubts. No. The majority of doubts I manage on a day-to-day -day basis are not with prospects. They are with our downlines around the world. They have moments, okay? And we are only human. They are also human. They read the same Google. They are under tremendous pressure sometimes from their family, relative society. So don't take it for granted. Don't take the conviction level, the belief level of your leaders, your downlines for granted. Once in a while, right? Once in 90 days or whatever, you need to sit down and just tell them, do you have any questions? Is there any concerns you have? I've seen Dato Sri Vijay do this every time, even at VCon, right? After he does part of his session, he will stop and say, Patman, I want Q&A. Why? Because he wants to clarify. Because one person's doubt in network marketing is 1,000 people have the similar doubt. I guarantee you. And you can't blame them, all right? We are in an industry. We are in an age where bad news Fake news exists at a pandemic level and people can easily be influenced. So the first thing you have to consistently do, all right, is as much as your leaders tell you, we are with you upline, we will die for you. This is the best company in the world. It's okay. They may still have doubt. They may still have frustration. They may still have issues, Right, so always put your pulse on that leadership on your organization by allowing them to ask you questions, allowing them to express themselves. Sometimes we hammer so much and say, No, you got to be positive, this is your life, this is the best company, shut up and do it. You're just pushing their doubt down, it's going to come up again. It's okay to occasionally have questions, it's okay to worry whether you made the right decision, it's okay to have fear of putting your whole future onto this industry called network marketing, onto this great company called QNet. And as much as you hear success stories, I'm sure you also hear people who did not make it. So it's okay to have that concern, doubt. But the longer you remain with it, the longer that uncertainty, that fear remains with you, it makes you into an ineffective networker. Because even if you have the smallest doubt, I remember somebody came to VCon, all right, and I met them somewhere during the book signing or something, and they said, you know, Chief, my greatest doubt whether Dato Sri Vijay is real. But I came to VCon, I touched him, I saw him, and now I know he's real. All my doubts are clear. I'm going to go back and bill. And I was thinking the guy was joking, all right, or, you know, just saying it for the sake of saying it. But I realized it is true, right? I was building Malaysia. And then we went to Hong Kong, right? And I was telling Datu Sri, how's the Hong Kong office? Is it there? What floor? He said, shut up, get on a flight. Come, touch the building. Because if you have even an ounce of drop, a drop of doubt in your mind, Batman, you can never build this business big. So I flew to Hong Kong. I touched the offices. I touched the carpet. I took all the brochures from Central Plaza and went back to tell my downlines, this is real, let's build. You understand? And don't underestimate this doubt. So the first thing for you to do an effective presentation, for you to handle prospects, you must be absolutely certain. No doubt. Conviction level 100%, belief 100%, everything 100%. 99% means there's 1% doubt. Right? Don't allow it to exist. Now you're dealing with prospects, guys. Who are these prospects? They are you. They're human. Right? And you are now approaching them, prospecting them, inviting them for presentation, group presentation, one on one, online presentation on Zoom. Now don't expect them, right, to say, yes, I'm in, even before you start. They have been exposed to so much information even before they met you. So my approach with prospects have always been to pull them in. Don't reach your prospect and bang, 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 bang with all your information. Brochure, best company, shut up now. Okay, two minutes, sign up. Come on, let's do it. This is the presenter, this is the tracking center, this is the product. Okay, they might say yes. 
They may buy a product, but they never build. So the rule is a prospect has to be pulled in. The mistake a lot of networkers do, they are so aggressive, they are so fast that they push the prospect away, pull them in, ask them questions about themselves. Golden rule, all right? Show them that you are human and you're not just a robot trying to close the deal. Your desperation of closing the deal may achieve the BV, but you lose a networker. Don't get just the BVs with no networkers. What's the use? All right? You will just be chasing BVs for the rest of your life. We are not here just for BVs. We are here for networkers. We are here for switched on downlines. We are here to create a network of switched on warriors who will build and build and build. So you, one day you can sit at home and max out. Are you guys with me? So pull your prospect in. Forget about trust. Forget about all these big words. Just make them comfortable. As much as they ask you questions, you should ask questions about them. Everyone wants to feel important. Everyone wants to feel that this is about me, not you. Don't make it about you. Make it always about the prospect because ultimately you are there offering them an opportunity to change their lives. And if you are sincere, you should actually have care. I always tell people, every presentation you must do from your heart. Not because you just want the BV, because you want to change that person's life. You want to bring that person into our world. You want to expose that person to the wisdom and passion of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, our great founders. You, you want to bring them into our world. Don't drag them kicking and screaming. Invite them. Can I come into your home now? Welcome to mine. Understand that prospect. Don't force them to understand you. Not everyone is ready to give their credit card or give a large amount of money or small amount of money. Right? You want them to make the right decision with the right emotion, with the right attitude, with the right belief, with the right level of comfort. Then you have a networker, not just a sale. Are you guys with me? No? Because if you are chasing only BVs, you will chase it for life. If you're looking for networkers, you will retire in QNet. I promise you, financial freedom will be yours. The second is the presentation. All right? Don't overload. Don't give too little. Don't give too much. Give just enough. Don't tell them things which are not relevant to them as a prospect. Share how amazing our products are. We have some unbelievable products. All right? Tell them your experience with the product. Tell them the complaint. Tell them the potential earnings truthfully, what they could earn. Tell them that it requires commitment and hard work, but you are there to guide them. Tell them the credibility of this company. Tell them everything, all right? But not too much, not too little. Not too aggressive, not too soft. Find a balance. And you can tell by their body language, by their eyes, whether they are comfortable with that presentation. And the minute I realize my prospect is not comfortable, I stop. And I said, what's up, bro? You seem to be, you know, distracted. You have any questions? You have any concerns? And they'll tell me, you know, Patman, honestly, I just read about your company online. Fantastic. I was waiting for you to ask me this question. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you read online. I will try my best to answer, but ultimately the decision is yours. But let me tell you my version of the truth. You may have heard the version of the reporters or journalists or whatever you read online, but it's okay. And I tell them about the industry. I tell them about every challenge we have faced very openly, but I tell them we are still here after 24 years. We are partners with Manchester City for 11 years. We have a tower in Malaysia. We have a university in Malaysia. All right, we have hotels all around the world. Now, please think for one minute. We are 24 years old. Do you think if we are doing something wrong, we'll be here for 24 years? If you think our intent is not pure, the founder's intent is not pure, we can be around for 24 years, 40 offices, millions of downlines around the world. So let's talk. What else is bothering you? Are you guys with me? So the minute they feel comfortable, answer their questions. The questions are there. You know every prospect has only 10 objections, not more. 
It's just different style, different language, different thing. And handle the objections, like I said, in the eight basic building blocks. Feel, felt, found. I know how you feel. That's exactly how I felt in 1998. But you know what I found out? You understand? And make them comfortable. Now, handle objections with your belief. Handle objections with confidence, but from here. Handle objections with a calm approach. Right? Don't let them get into your head. Some prospects are smart enough to ask you questions, but they already want to say no. They don't know how to say no. When you sense that they want to say no, they don't know how to say no, I ask them for an honest answer. No pressure. Right? I know I've told you a lot. I just want to know how you feel. Are we leaning towards a few more questions? Then you are comfortable enough. Or oh, right now you are very uncomfortable, right, about putting down your credit card or making that decision, right? Let's talk about something else. Because if I pressure somebody to sign up, I lose a networker. I get a BV. I'm not here just to get BVs. I'm here to duplicate to build networkers, to build warriors like Dato Sri Vijay and Japa has done for 24 years. So remember your prospect. Now, if they said you are legal, illegal, we have videos left, right, center. We have so much to show, but don't show them too much. Show them just enough that they're comfortable and then stop. Let them ask the next question. Now, I think today as a networker, I face more questions. People are much more aware. The internet, information, network marketing, crypto, everything is around town today. So I think we have to be patient in our presentation. We have to be patient with our prospects. Because whether they say yes or no, it trains you. It sharpens your sword. It makes you better as a networker. Not only handling the prospect, but handling everyone. But ultimately, remember, they will never understand your mind at this moment of time. They will never understand QNet, how beautiful, how amazing it is. They need time to get there. And your job is to make them comfortable enough to stay with you all the way until they get that click. All right? And to make them comfortable, be truthful, be sincere. Show them your heart. Tell them your beautiful journey. Don't oversell. Don't undersell anymore. Be, prospects are not morons anymore. You understand? They're smart. They have opinions. They know what's happening around the world. You just need to understand this. You have the greatest opportunity in your hands. Right? And every prospect is also the greatest opportunity to sign him or her up and make her into a networker. So don't waste that opportunity. Don't waste it with, 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 with uncertainty or aggression or I got no time, I got to do it fast. No. Every presentation is an opportunity for you to find Arun, Adli, David, Sati, Dato, Sri Vijay, Japa. So don't waste it. Be prepared. You don't need a degree or PhD to do a presentation. You need an empty cup. You need a bit of practice and you can show the presentation to anyone. Right? And ultimately, do the business from here and you will succeed, guys. I promise you that. Love you guys. See you at VCon.